this uh, this is something I've been meaning to do for a long time now, about two months. This is the very first Lamayanites vlog. Um, we're not known for vlogs. We're known for really uh, um, creating, working on new content, combat-based content for YouTube. Um, and basically, what we're going to do real quick is answer some quick questions that was posed by our uh, one and only fan in Australia, J Dog Two Three Three Seven. Um, you know, I had like an hour-long conversation with him about a month ago where he just kept asking a lot of questions about us and it dawned on me that this content isn't covered in our average videos and we should probably address it a little bit. Uh, first question, do we make or buy our own armor? And the answer is yes, we make and buy both our armor. Um, we make certain pieces, we make certain armor, um, and we also buy. Uh, the. Uh, the question is, where can you buy some of this stuff? Um, we have uh, a new website that we just found that we really like, um, Cult of Athena, and there'll be a link down below. Has some really great deals on uh, lifetime warranty swords, which they're not a sponsor. They're not paying us to say that. But if you're watching and you want to sponsor us, pay us to say that. We will. Um, the other place that we really like as far as armory goes is the is James River Armory. Uh, there'll be a link down below. And uh, he made my arms, Jason's arms, and actually he's made a lot of things for movies and TV shows. Um, uh, one of the things he did was the Tudors and and uh, James River Army, uh, Armory. Really nice place to get some good stuff. Um, the other place that the idea was really good for us is there's a, a website called Rough from the Hammer. And the idea is that he makes the armor about halfway to two thirds done. And then that you mail it off unfinished and we do the finished work. Um, I would really like to support this guy. I really think he's a really nice guy, but the quality of work is really bad. I'm the kind of guy when I get a, a cheeseburger at a restaurant, I don't send it back. Yeah, food. When I get anything, I don't send it back. But when I got my breastplate from him, it literally went from my collarbone to about two inches above my belly button. And I gave him my sizes and he just, he made a child's breastplate for me. And basically doing what we do, if I had worn that, I would have easily broken a rib. Um, there's, there's, yeah, there's just no way of, and, and I actually had to send it back. And, uh, and my breastplate I wear now is actually one of his stainless steel pieces that we did all the finish work on. Um, and we've just, we've ordered two things from him and we weren't happy. Um, but like I said, I really wish I could support the guy. He's a nice guy, but his quality of work is eh, eh. Um, The uh, other question, is Lord Brandon that awesome? Dave, I'm gonna let you answer this one. Uh, I do not think candy. If you ever meet him in person and he offers you candy, you say no. He... Just say no. <laughs> the next question is, um, how come we don't see as many shoots, like leg takedowns, as we would in uh, wrestling? And uh, this is a simple question, because the reason is when you're in armor and you go for those shoots, um, and you'll see it in, in wrestling or in MMA, somebody sprawls on you, you have the option, you have a lot more recovery time to get up. If you sprawl in armor or take that shot in armor, it's a lot harder to get up. So when you go for a leg takedown, it's all or right nothing. One of our fights, uh, we, he did tackle me, but I pushed him away and I rolled away from him, but I got back up and actually pinned him. And that was our, uh, the church fight. Yeah, the Woodcrest. Woodcrest. Woodcrest demo. Woodcrest, uh, demo. Um, like I said, when it comes to those takedowns in armor and the way we fight, you have to commit fully to that takedown. And if, if you don't get it, if it goes wrong, you're done. You know, like I, like Scott, he pinned me because of a, a takedown went wrong. Um, well, wrong for me, right for him. Uh, now, the, the final question was actually one, again, addressed by JDog2337. Um, is it hard to move an armor? Um, 
at first, yeah, it's it's a bunch of weights just holding you down and you're a lot slower. But when you do it, you know, as long as you know, even me, I've only been doing it for a few months, and now it just seems every time I put it on, I just feel like it's uh, it's just part of who I am now. Uh, it doesn't even seem like I'm wearing armor anymore. Yeah, I was gonna say um, the natural or the, the the what I normally answer this question with is um, when you're a, a, let's say you're a lord and you have money and you can pay to have a suit of armor made and it fits and contorts to your body, there there's no inhibit uh, no inhibited of movement. I can I can cartwheel in my my hundred pound suit of armor. <laughs> Cameraman, cameraman wants to see this. Uh, I think we should put this on the video blog. Yeah, I think we should. Blog, oh, oh, but yeah, that, that's the other half of the equation is if you were a soldier and they literally just took the armor off of a corpse and threw it on you, um, and it's it's not tailored to you. Yeah, you might only be able to, like it might bunch up at the shoulder and this is as high as you're gonna get your arm or something locks or. Um, you know, it's it, bad things can happen, and so when it's properly fit, no, there is no. You can do cartwheels. Yeah, you can do <laughs> cartwheels. When it's not, you know, you can get seriously hurt. Um, and yeah, that's the end of the question. So, uh, closing statements. Um, J Dog uh, two three three seven. Um, I just want to say thank you, J Dog, our one and only fan. Please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. That actually talks to us. Yeah. Uh, you know, just try to get your friends to watch us and uh, keep it up. Keep the comments coming. We enjoy them. Uh, really, uh, people who are watching this, comment. We want our uh, your views and your comments on everything. And maybe if we got supporters that can actually help us, please help us. Yeah, that like button goes a long way. <laughs> um, you know, but basically, you know, this is our first vlog. We're not really vloggers per se. We're not going to sit there and, and make funny vlogs. Vlog, yeah. <laughs> you know, we're not vloggers. We're not going to make funny jokes because, quite honestly, we don't know anyone. We don't well, have writers. Well, funny jokes, you know. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'll send it. Uh,